Hey everyone, this is Mr. Isometric and in this video we are going to talk about limit rotation bone constraint. So let's get started. Now I have a bone. I'll go into the edit mode, shift D. On the Y, let's move the bone one unit. Now I will go into the armature properties, turn on the name, turn on the axis, make the position to 0.5 so that we see the local axis. Now I'll go into the wireframe mode. This helps me to visualize the local axis of each bone. Now to add the constraint, you have to go into the pose mode. Now select the bone on which you need to add the constraint. Go to the bone constraint tab. Let's apply the limit rotation. Inside the limit rotation constraint, you'll see that we have options like limit X, Y, Z, order and owner. So let's get into each of these uh, settings one by one. So first is limit X. Now this is uh, all of this thing is happening in the world coordinate system. In the X, you can see that um, my minimum and my maximum are set to zero. That's why this bone it will no longer rotate on the X. So if I try to rotate this on the X, you'll see that it is not rotating. So let's make this as minus 90 and let's make this as 90. Now if I try to rotate this on the X, you'll see that my bone is not moving in the direction where my mouse cursor is going right now, but it is moving in this direction. So as you can see that the rotation that it took is actually the global right now on the x axis it is uh, trying to take the rotation from over here like this wait let me just snap the bone okay there you go now it is going minimum in this direction 90 degree i guess this is the maximum and then minimum in that direction 90 degree like that so the bone is clamped like this now the reason why uh, my bone has uh, is facing the uh, global y is because my local y as you can see uh, is pointing that way uh, and now it is, as it is set to the world space my y will point towards uh, there so that's why uh, it is happening like that um, now you can go ahead and make this world space to the local space like that and now let me just do alt r and as you can see uh, it, it, it just uh, stood right up now if i try to rotate it on the x you'll see that it is clamping between negative and positive 90 degree with respect to this axis now the x axis right now as you can see 90 and minus 90 it is now following the local space which which is the axis that you can see inside the bone over here let's just make it to the world space for now so yeah now if i limit it on the y you'll see that if i rotate it on the y it's not rotating anymore now i'll just plug in minus 180 and 180 over here and let's try to move it and as you can see it is moving um, from minus 180 to 180 um, now this might look like it is uh, like a rotating at the full angle but uh, actually it is just uh, 180 is basically from the top to bottom like this and then it just starts uh, in the positive direction uh, let's do minus 45 and then 45 like that now it is being clamped to 45 degrees Awesome. And similar with the Z axis, uh, if you do it like minus 60 to 60 in the Z direction, you can see the bone is being clamped uh, till the 60 degree angle, as you can see. Now the order is something that has to do with quaternion rotation. There will, there are actually a lot of videos related to uh, gimbal lock. Um, as you can see, the quaternion they don't have no gimbal lock. Um, you can like um, Google or YouTube watch another video on what gimbal lock is but basically the order it uh, kind of uh, makes sure that uh, your axis uh, which is uh, like given more priority first um, so suppose if I rotate my bone in the X like this now you'll see that uh, if I move in this direction, my X is negative and if I move uh, the bone in other direction, it is positive. That can be changed by uh, making changes to this axis, this Euler axis. So suppose let's do that. It is still negative. Now I don't know which one will make it positive. Okay, um, so Y, X, Z, uh, that kind of made it positive right now. So they will affect the way your coordinates uh, change. So I'll just keep them at default. 
Now, if I transform, let me check if this if this error still exists. Um, yep, it does. To visualize the effect transform, let's just go inside over there and then uh, let's have uh, X, Y, Z Euler axis. So let me just make this zero. Okay, so if I now rotate on the X, you'll see on the top right over there or over here in the um, properties panel the value of x now even though my uh, bone is constrained it is still going beyond like 20 degrees and if i try to rotate it back uh, you see that first it will make the 20 zero and then start moving it and to make this zero whenever you are clamped or to whatever value you have over here just click on effect transform and then let's try to rotate it again and as you can see it uh, it is trying its best to make it zero uh, or um, in, now it is like moving uh, instantaneously and there is no lag behind it okay um, now the effect transform works like that now the owner uh, we already talked about it pose space is basically the world space but uh, it will uh, ignore the uh, this extra additive rotation I guess okay. Yeah, it is now adding it again. So effect transform won't work. So I basically prefer world space and local space. Uh, I'll G altar to clear its uh, location and rotation. Now, the last thing that we have in this constraint is the influence. Now you can animate this value to make this constraint turn on and off. It is like a toggle for this constraint. So you can animate that value by clicking over this dot button and anything in Blender that has this dot you can animate that value uh, and get uh, you can turn this basically this constraint on and off so yeah that's how you use limit rotation board constraint now i'm talking about all these constraints one by one instead of making a long video and all of these videos will be available in their own playlist so do check that playlist out link will be in the description below uh, and yeah I hope you all learned something from this video and to support me making more such video like this video subscribe and share it with your friends uh, if they want to know more about bone constraints so yeah thank you all so much for watching i'll see you in the next video bye bye